I'm Sillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I'll show you how to draw an easy, step-by-step -step picture of a relaxed hand. Enjoy! We'll start off making our hand in a forward-facing, relaxed position. Make a trapezoid. And add some depth to it. A triangle on the thumb side and make that 3D also. Now the pinky side is shorter than the index side so erase the edge that is the pinky side and round it off lower down. Now for the fingers each place where you want to put your finger make a circle. For the larger fingers, make a bigger circle. And for the thumb. Now, to give you a guide of where you want your fingers to extend, start from the wrist and make a line through each finger hole and extend it how you want how long you want your fingers to be. Some people have longer fingers, some people have shorter. Just depends what your picture looks like or what your own hand looks like, wherever you're copying from. And for the next joint of the finger, make another circle and then round out for the tip. For the thumb, we'll do just two joints, and for the other ones, we'll do three. And we'll connect the circles together to form a cylindrical shape by putting a line on each side, connecting the circles one to the next. Depending on how much fat there is on the fingers, you will either make them the spaces between the joints larger or more sunk in. And for the pinky. Alright, now we can erase the construction lines. That means every inner line that is no longer necessary, leaving just the outside as a guide. And while you do that, you can just connect any places that were not yet connected, such as the space between the thumb and the palm and underneath between each finger and I like to leave the lines that are actually on the back of the hand since they look like the bones that are visible in some cases if the bones of the hand that you're drawing are not visible feel free to erase them I will just go around again outlining the hand shape based on those lines that we created in the beginning. Now we'll add some depth to our picture by shading the areas that are shadowed. The space between the thumb and the palm. And on the sides of each finger We'll put a kind of diagonally faced lines on either side to give the finger that cylindrical look to make it look as though it's not flat but it has some height to it. 
and we'll accentuate that by shading in inside between the fingers. So we'll just do that on either side of each finger and on the side of the hand. So you see how those circles that we made before really show the bone, the knuckle of, of the hand. Now we'll put in our fingernails and try not to color them, uh, draw them so dark since the darker they are the more strange they look. Just a line, two lines on the side. And depending how lo long you like your fingernails to be, you can add on. And to give the fingernails some shading, just draw in on either side of them some lines going from up to down. Now we accentuate the bones of the hand. Using those lines that we left here before. And a little bit for the knuckles. Just to show where they are. And you can continue and attach the hand to the arm if you're drawing your arm. Now using the blending stump blend out those shadows that we put in and that really gives it a smooth look instead of all those lines will have a nice smooth texture and try to do it in a sort of rounded way that, that will give the finger a round look. As if the blending stump is doing half circles around the finger. And spread out the color between the fingers as well. And on the side. And for the bones and knuckles. just to give the hand a little bit of a darker shade to it, that it doesn't look all white. Add some shading to the arm. And we'll show up that knuckle and thumb by shading around it. Now once again using a pencil, 
add in any details that you like to put to the skin texture, the wrinkles of the knuckles. Try not to do it very hard, a little scribble will do, since you don't want it to look really weird. And if you overdo those wrinkles of the knuckles, the hand will look strange. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and press the notification bell. Hope you enjoyed. And if anything didn't come out exactly to your liking, you could always fix it up afterwards. Enjoy.